Edmondson for Robotics is a 100 million pound uh, joint venture between Herit Watt University and the University of Edinburgh. And we're researching robots for all sorts of things, working on offshore oil platforms, uh, working in construction, but also robots that can work in the home, working alongside you and me. Robotics is at a stage which it's able to make a huge difference uh, in terms of affecting our economy, uh, creating the next generation of jobs and changing the way we work and live. The robots that we have and that we use are quite capable mechanically. So for example, this robot animal, it can traverse different types of terrain, rough terrain. It is capable of jumping, it is capable of running to a certain speed. So we want to put this robot in a dangerous situation like a nuclear disaster or an offshore oil rig in order to make it safer for humans in these environments. One of the ways that we go about trying to program robots is to make the robots work the way we do. And so there's some parts of the brain which are responsible for vision and hearing, and some parts are responsible for your movement. And it's connecting all those up. We look to humans and the incredible dexterity as inspiration for our machines and sort of take those principles in order to get the robots to behave as effortlessly as, as a human would do. There's a lot of behaviors that are so easy for humans but very hard for robots. For, for example, grasping. If there's an apple on the table, for humans, once we grab it, we know how to handle it. But for the robot, we need to provide information about the object, such as the size, the weight. All this information are needed for the robot to perform well in the environment. Increasingly, we are finding that one of the key questions in robotics uh, is how to make these robots capable of uh, operating in a general environment, you know, homes, factories, roads. This all comes down to understanding how people behave, and our robots have to be smart enough, just like people are, to collaborate with them and cooperate with them. Thank you, Pierre, too. In robotics, you have to think big, think outside the box to really make a huge difference. And one such very exciting project is the NASA Valkyrie project, where we are trying to uh, use robots for what we call pre-deployment of assets on the surface of Mars. And why do we want to do that? It's because robots can help lower the cost of space exploration by about 30 to 40 percent rather than the astronauts having to go and build up everything from scratch. The advantage of a humanoid system is that it is able to operate in domains that are built for humans, operate the same equipment that an astronaut would operate but really do the more dangerous and risky jobs. I truly believe that robotic research is the future. In the future, we will see robots assist humans in many different situations. People will be seeing robots around in the workplace, in hospitals, on the streets, you know, with self-driving cars. They'll be more sophisticated and more able to interact with people. My vision is one of uh, improving the efficiency of things around us so that our lives are made better. And there's not very many places in the world where you can work uh, with a platform uh, like the NASA Humanoid. Um, so Edinburgh is a unique place where the students can come and really push the boundaries of what we're doing with robotics. Some of the exhibits you'll see here, the Miro robot and the Marty robot, um, are from startup companies that have come from the work of the students in the Edinburgh Centre for Robotics. So it's a great place to come, not only to learn about robotics, but also to fulfill your dreams for the future. Thank you.